Economic Impact. Welcome to New This Week for the week of January the 19th. I am Sheldon. You are Comic Impact people. This is good. This is a good start. So let's start for what's new this week for the week of January the 19th. All right? Let's do this. First, we have Amazing Spider-Man 652 with writer Dan Slott and artist Stefano Caselli. Now, I'm kind of... I'm kind of sad that uh, Ramos isn't doing the artwork for it this week. Kind of sad about that, but whatever. I'll get past it. Uh, it's a continuation of the storyline that Slot has been doing, so it should be wonderful. It's Revenge of the Spider Slayer Part 1 of 3. So it's going to be a continuation. Keep Just keep reading it. You'll love it. I'm sure it'll be great, and uh, everything will be back to normal soon. Ah. Uh, also, we have Batman 706, or as I like to call it, the Tony Daniel book, because he's both writing it, uh, he produces it, uh, he's changing DC to Tony Daniel, it's going to be TD from now on, I don't know what that, um, should be good, uh, so far I've kind of been meh about it, I love his artwork, uh, his story isn't bad, I think of the Batman books it's one of the, the, the better ones right now, um, but I don't know, it's, it's better than the one with the lady with the hole in her face, Miss Negative, did not like her. Uh, it was, how can I put this gently, it sucked. And we have Invincible Iron Man number 500. That's by Matt Fraction and a gazillion other artists. This is 500, so of course you know that means Marvel's blowing it out and making a big deal out of it. Uh, it should be good. Uh, I, don't, I don't expect too much out of it. I know it's got a future storyline for... Uh, like Hulk in the, in the, or not Hulk, but uh, Iron Man in the, the far, far future and how he might die. And um, I don't know, it, it'll, it'll be a 500 issue. You know, don't expect a whole lot, but I'm sure one big thing will happen and that'll make it worth the whole book, unlike the Avengers Prime book. It should be called Dude's Night Out, is what it should have been called. Uh, also, we have Scarlet 4. Um, by Bendis and Malev. Uh, hopefully this comes out on time, and it's a wonderful book. If you've been to the site, you know I love it. If not, go to the site, read. I love it. It's a good book. It's a very good book, actually. Um, hopefully things get bigger quickly as uh, Malev and Bendis keep teasing, because right now it's all just kind of been centralized in Portland and it's dealing with you know the, the Scarlet, her main story. Um, after that, we have Superior 4 with the Space Monkey. That's... Uh, going to be, that, that is all that Simon needs, is a space monkey, and I think the book is automatically amazing. Uh, I don't know. So far, I've loved the book. It's, it's Mark Millar and Lionel Francis Yoon, who, again, amazing artwork. Just amazing. Um, it should be a good week. All right? Have fun this week. You're, you're liking this? I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't forget, you can check us out on Twitter or on uh, Facebook. I think we're on the Facebook, as the, the kids like to call it. And uh, you can also check us out on iTunes. That's right, folks. We're on iTunes. We're slowly taking over the world. So enjoy it. Um, that's all I got for you this week. Until uh, next time. I don't have a catchy catchphrase, so I'm just going to end it there.